Hi, and welcome to the second video in our uh, series of how to start your own podcast by startupandrun.com. First, basically, the first video we showed you how to set up the WordPress install, and I use WordPress for all of my podcast feeds, and the uh, couple of steps in the Blueberry uh, configuration. Now we're going to enter our first actual uh, podcast on the site so that we have something that we can submit to uh, iTunes. So I just copied and pasted the first description, and uh, we'll put a title in here. Uh, for our uh, for our podcast, and um, and then eventually it looks like my permalinks aren't aren't set up yet. So the way I like to set my permalinks up for uh, for my WordPress sites are basically to use um, the just the post name. Uh, if you have a larger site, you might want to do category and then and then post name. But um, I just use post name on most of my sites, and I because I like to use the uh, titles of the, of the uh, posts, you know, basically is long tail SEO uh, fodder uh, coming in off of Google. So, and uh, the closer you can get that to your main URL, the better you are. So we'll go ahead and give our, uh, give ourself a uh, permalink URL here to, to, uh, for this particular post. And uh, then we'll move into actually, uh, inserting or uploading the um, the audio file itself, uh, the Blueberry uh, plugin actually adds a field to this uh, um, where we're entering, you know, entering the description and title of our uh, of our podcast. There's actually a field as we scroll down. Uh, we'll have the um, a place to enter our URL. For the uh, for the audio file itself, and it looks like I forgot to change the category. So we'll go in here and uh, and set our category to something more meaningful than uncategorized, and get that out of the way. So once we get that done, we'll go back to our actual post entry and scroll down, and you'll see there's a place here for media URL. And if you remember back to the first video. In the uh, Blueberry uh, plugin setup, there's a place to enter a default uh, URL. So the first part of our URL, the actual HTTP, HTTP colon slash slash um, site name, and then uh, WP content um, and so forth is all. We put that in the default. So all, ne all we need to enter in here is our actual path and file name. So. I'll show you how a quick way to uh, upload your file if you don't feel like pulling out your FTP program. If you go into My Documents, put FTP, your site name in, it's going to bring up a login screen. You just put your username and regular FTP username and password in, and you can drag and drop files directly from your desktop right onto your web server. So we'll uh, drill down here into uh, where we actually want our content to be. And it's uh, going to be in the 2010 folder 08. And then um, we'll open up the uh, uh, folder on our desktop where our MP3 file is that we recorded earlier. Copy that into uh, this folder. And then all we'll need to do is enter that part of the uh, our file name into, uh, into the media URL section of our, uh, of our post. You can see back here where we initially set up that uh, default URL. So here we go and um, yeah, just enter our file name. Here we go and we'll enter the uh, 2010 08 and then the uh, actual name of our file, which I forgot already, so I have to pull up again. <laughs> I'll just copy it uh, from uh, from this location into uh, into the field. Verify up, oh, and it cannot find it. So let's figure out what we did wrong. Let's go back here to uh, where we uh, entered our default URL. It looks like I forgot an S in the end of uploads, so we'll. Put our S in there and go back in and uh, um, see if that fixes our problem. 
And there's another error comes up. And this foul was actually is recorded by someone else in mono, and the podcast likes stereo files, so it's going to tell us. So let's test it hey, here. Hey, it's John Daniels here, and welcome to another Marketing for Coaches podcast. And we I can see that uh, indeed it does uh, work. And uh, you could test the download, too. It would show it would download it to your uh, to your computer, but... Uh, we want to go back in and enter a uh, enter a second podcast so that iTunes actually has two of them in the feed to look at. So I'll uh, I'll copy and paste the um, uh, podcast title and the description in here for you. I'll try to get this done in a short period of time. Show you how to uh, uh, enter the media URL again down in uh, the media URL field. I want to format my uh, post here a little bit, add a uh, paragraph break and so forth. So we'll enter the, the media uh, name of our second uh, audio file that, re that was recorded. I, I didn't actually record this. Uh, someone else uh, recorded this podcast. I'm just uh, basically setting it up for them. So when we click verify, you'll see that it does indeed uh, automatically fill in the size of the audio file. And then the um, the duration of that file. We're getting the um, the mono versus stereo error again. So let's update our post or publish our post, and then we want to go in and actually see what the uh, see what the feed on this thing looks like. So if we type uh, podcast in after our URL, you'll see that it actually brings up the uh, the RSS feed for us, and this is what iTunes is going to see. So if we go back into the uh, the plugin itself and look at the the feed tab, there's a place there to actually just click on and simply validate your uh, your RSS feed to see if it meets uh, iTunes um, requirements. And we can see here there are a couple of uh, problems with our feed, basically because we did not set those uh, fields up yet. But I wanted you to see what iTunes is actually going to be looking for. And uh, if, if we don't fix those configuration settings, you know, iTunes won't approve the feed. So click on iTunes at the top, and we'll actually go in and set the uh, configuration settings. This is uh, just a little uh, way for us to flag iTunes and say, come back here at a later date. You know, if at some later date we want to change our description and subtitle, we can flag iTunes and say, please come back and take a look at us and update your listening. So we have the... Uh, iTunes program subtitle. The title, of course, we set back in the one of the initial uh, fields, the actual title of our podcast. So uh, this is our subtitle, and then uh, a uh, a program summary or description that will be in the main uh, the main section of our uh, of our podcast in iTunes. Uh, each individual program will pull its description from the. Uh, from every post. Each individual program will have a title and description that's based on what we enter in when we add a new uh, podcast uh, post into WordPress. But we'll get our description entered in here and then I'll show you what we need to do for uh, for categories. You know, iTunes of course and any of the other podcast aggregators separate podcasts into different categories. You know, people, whatever people are searching for. So we want to set up um, set up those categories as many as are pertinent to the uh, particular podcast that we uh, that we are recording. A couple other fields in here that are important are the uh, iTunes talent name, which is your name if you are the host of the show, and uh, email address. And of course you want to receive the email that they send to say you or tell you you're approved, so put a good email address in there for them. Uh, lastly, an iTunes image. Create a 600 by 600 pixel icon or some type of uh, attractive image for your show. It used to be 300 by 300. They just changed it uh, to a larger resolution there. Uh, they'll create their own uh, thumbnail icon. And uh, so up, upload your, uh, your large image. Uh, that'll show up in the, uh, in the iTunes in, in your uh, folder when people click on, on your, and you can preview it there and see what it looks like. Uh, it's going to show up in, in the iTunes folder, of course, when people 
uh, search for and try to find out what your show is about. So you want something that you know is going to be representative of the show and people are going to be attracted to. Let's go back in and validate our feed again. Voila. We have a valid uh, RSS uh, feed that is... Um, that is iTunes ready to be used, and uh, we are soon ready to upload this uh, or go and uh, submit our feed, our iTunes feed to, uh, or submit our RSS feed to iTunes, and uh, let's see what happens there. I want to just click on the source here just to give you an idea of some of the fields that are uh, being used, and you can see a number of uh, iTunes specific fields that are in this feed. And that's a nice thing that Blueberry's uh, uh, plugin does for you. You can see there we have a description, just another WordPress site. We're going to want to change that. Um, and the, our author's name and so forth. And as we go on down here, we're going to see the specific information for each of those two existing uh, podcasts that we created. And we see how that information is then forwarded on to, uh, to iTunes. So there you go. Our next video is going to be uh, how to submit to the iTunes directory.